Hey everybody, I'm Fembo87, and before anyone asks any questions, these clips are from a Twitch stream I did. If you guys want to catch me live while doing it, link will be in the description down below. This will be Mass Effect 1, the Renegade walkthrough. Yay! Eat my fucking anus. Bye! Hey, without any further delay... Sorry for this long as fuck to take setup. You know what? I'm gonna refresh this page one last time. Cause I know now I have everything I could possibly want with this. I don't expect this thing to watch the stream at all, but maybe, just maybe. Alright, so it says two people are watching. Well, welcome. Alright. So now that we finally have all that shit set up, let's start a new profile. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Well, classified hello. information requested. I, I don't want to give classified information. Does that mean I have to give my D size? No? Okay. Establishing secure connection. Secure long. connection confirmed. So we could go with the normal Shepherd, but I kind of want to customize him just a bit. Please log in to access your profile. <laughs> I am terrible. <laughs> All right, now we finally got this Warning, data awesomeness underway. Detected. Data corruption. Well, God, no, no. Please I have enough reconstruct of that in real life. profile. Well, shit. Looks like we have to start service history. Spacer, colonist, earthborn. I like this Confirm one. Confirm psychological profile. Um, yeah, we could be ruthless. Yeah, let's be ruthless. This is the renegade profile, after all. Confirm military specialization. All right. We could be an awesome ass biotic and shiz, or we could be an engineer, a soldier. Now, all these classes are fun in their own way, but I have one specific problem with them. Only two of them allow you to use sniper rifles. I mean, you get sniper rifles either way, but only two of them really focus on sniper rifle training. Everything else is kind of mediocre. And I kind of want to focus on that, so my infiltrator will be this guy. Confirm facial identification. Psycho presets. Let's see. Skin tone. Yeah, let's be the blackest we can. No. I'm gonna be white because. God 
damn it. Cool. Hell yeah. Oh. I thought there was eye size. I read it wrong. I'm stupid. Eyes. Shepard, move to that side so I can actually see what... Yeah, let's have them bulging out of his head. No. I don't need that. I... Ah, there's good. I'm pretty high above his head. No, 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 no. Okay. care about a lot of this stuff really so no beard sure why not all right I like that hair I don't know why it's just kind of simplistic to me. All right. So, we're going to be doing a lot with this game. I intend to do a shitload of the side quests. So, yeah, we're going to do it that way. Finally. Profile reconstruction complete. Gay Shepherd. Let's do it. I want to be a biotic on other occasions, confirmed. but on other accounts at some point, but for now. Combat difficulty. We're gonna go veteran. It's hard, but it's not insanely impossible. Insanity is where you'd go if you wanted to do that. Alright, we're not doing auto level up. Because that's stupid. Alright. We're not going to do the auto level up because it always puts points into areas I don't want to put it. Let's go. So as I said, this is going to be Renegade. I intend to do all the side quests because... Look. I don't like being a racist, and I'm probably not going to do that amongst my own team very often. So I'm going to do a lot of the side quests in order to... gain Renegade points. Well, what about Shepard? 
He's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of his life. Military service runs in the family. Both his parents were in the Navy. He got most of his unit killed on Torfin. He gets the job done, no matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? Yes. That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Just this intro screen alone should tell you how awesome this game is going to be. Then again, I love this trilogy as a whole. The Mass Effect trilogy. And no, I don't care for Andromeda. Don't ever expect to see Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. That's so awesome that we're passing by all the local clusters. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. Alright. Relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. Oh god, what's this? I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. Yes. <laughs> You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. That's enough. Your soldiers, act like it. Sorry, Commander. Joker, status report. <laughs> you don't have to be such a dick. Just cleared the mass Joker relay, Captain. Out loud. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? <laughs> well, I'm going to pay for it. Well, I'm sorry for the Don't audio. Don't blame cut. me. The captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. There's our first set of renegade points, so yes. God, I hope it's not going to be this laggy the whole game. We're getting dragged, right along with him. Relax. Hi. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the Captain? I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, sir, maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. Info's on a need-to-know basis, Presley. Just follow the orders you're given. Understood, Commander. Do I have to be a dick to everybody? I can't guarantee I will be. This game's long enough to, I think, where I can... That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't have to... They can do whatever they want. 
Alright, well, hello. <laughs> Put your weapon away, Shepard. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I'm a marine, not some tourist on vacation. It's more than just a tourist destination, isn't it, Shepard? Eden Prime is a Maybe. symbol of your people. A perfect little world on the edges of your territory. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Are you trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? Nah, not really. We're we're. I think it's fault. about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. I don't like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. Oh? Well, it's shit. Prothean. What else can you tell me? This is Big Shot. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring oh, the really? beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. No. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interest, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. We can handle this on our own. Unless something goes wrong. There's more, Shepard. Oh, Nihilus really? isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. Since when do we answer to the Spectres? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. One thing Humanity I hate about wants Mass a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. Is your they want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Fine. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground. I kind of wish that was the case. Secure the but beacon and get it onto the, the ship isn't. ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. Ah, What's shit. wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Well, fuck me in the ass. Of course there's problems. Get down! Hello, Ashley. What? Okay, nice. Look at her butt. But... We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't. Get evac. They came out of nowhere. We need. Basically, huh? Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. What in the hell is that? Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships is that in the a area. Five finger dildo. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. <laughs> this mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Well then. Engaging stealth systems. 
My apologies for my system acting like a piece of turd. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Oh, really? Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. A He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in the spectrums, and he wants that beat. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! It's we are approaching drop point two. There's a lot of beautiful imagery in this game, and this is an old one, too. It holds up pretty damn well, though. So combat in this game, it is actually a lot different from the first two, I mean from the next two. I am doing a terrible job. This place got parked, man. Hostiles are coming with you. are gone. Okay, squad. Pistols, shotguns, assault rifles, sniper. Huh. I can't wait to level this guy up. He's gonna be a huge help. I just broke my foot in several different places. Not really. But, let's see. Whatever. I'm gonna level him up first, because he is gonna be so important to this mission. It's always hard to figure out what you want to give. Because I want to increase his biotics. Yeah, sure. Let's give him that. And then Shepard. And you may think I'm crazy. But I want to increase his intimidation. You hear that little scream there? They actually use that in SCP Containment Breach for um, SCP-096, which is awesome. Alright. So we have some skill in snipers. I like snipers in this game. Heat sink. I'll take that. I will happily take that. Alrighty. By the way, that's Jenkins' best line in the game, and you're going to see why. So you might be asking yourself, why is that his best line in the game?
Also zusammen. First sniper rifle really suck. All right, screw this. Yeah, I really want to increase my shields. Anyway. Do I want pistols or electronics? There's so much I want to get, but I can't get it all just in one go. Let's increase your throw. And then we'll increase your decryption. God damn this thing. D doesn't take much at all for it to just go fucking dead on me. If you're wondering what that is, I'm looking at the stream from another screen. this shit into my armor. What the hell is happening? I really hope it's not just... Shot him. 
God damn it. Get behind cover, you ass dang. Where is he? Combat in this game can be very fun. It can also be very tricky. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? I need a status report. Now. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? Because they're gay. <laughs> they must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Move out. That's weird. Nah. So there's some things the beacons at the far end of this trench. Scorpion. Yes, I will happily take that armor. Radioactive rounds. I will also happily take that. Scorpion armor is ten times better. Well, not ten times. Twice as good, we'll say. Quite literally, almost. I don't care for its look, but... Then again, some armors look great in this game and others don't. So, we're going to equip our pistol with radioactive rounds. She has four points. Now, the nice thing about her is...
she is a full-on soldier. She can use any weapon in the category. I want to upgrade her assault rifle training mainly. And we'll put some of the pistols too. F6, I believe, is the quick save. Yep. Let's see if we can snipe. I thought for sure I missed. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Let's get moving. Williams, where's the camp? It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. That really didn't sound like we're wasting time. Separate. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. And another level up, yay. So... <sighs> There's so many things I want to level up. The only reason I'm going here in decryption is because I want to unlock electronics for him. I won't probably upgrade this anymore after that. But I want to get him electronics so he can increase his shield capacity. Alright, I already know I'm, at, I'm increasing assault rifle training with you. And I'll give you combat armor. Why not? Equipment. right now. Hmm. What the hell is even going on? the live thing anymore. What Looks the fuck? Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Oh, 
got. They're still alive. No, they ain't. What did the Geth do to them? Examine anything here, but okay. I have no use for any of that. Okay. That door is closed. Security locks engaged. Well. Oh, I'm stupid. So there's a button that can hide the live thingy. I am stupid, wow. Alright. So this is a very interesting puzzle. What you basically do... Humans, thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. How did you end up in this shed? We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so Agents of the destroyed. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him. The Prophet. Leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit... unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. Can We've you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of... Miraculous new technology. We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Are you Manuel, sure? Please, this isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. <laughs> oh my god! What did you do? That might have been a little extreme, Commander. You can't just go around whacking people in the head. It was only a matter of time until he did something crazy and dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. <laughs> Just bops him on the head. That's fantastic. No, that's fantastic. Oh my god.
Yeah, save that shit. <laughs> He totally looks normal right now. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. I gotta say, I love his design. It's what really intimidating. Off in the distance. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. That's me. What? That first one missed. to believe any of that. Alright. Beginning override. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. <laughs> Is it safe? Are they gone? Nobody moves a muscle until we know who you are. Nice going, Cole. I told you we should have stayed hidden. It's okay. We're all on the same side here. We're just farmers. We've been hiding ever since that ship first showed up. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw oh, it really? ran. I, I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! Do you know anything about the Protean Beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not till now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise! It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned, only it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. It almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. If there's something you're not telling me. Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You greedy bastard. <laughs> you weren't running for your life. You were running to check on your merchandise. No, it's not like that. I just I just it's knew there were some like packages that. here. Something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Well, I guess we don't get anything. I'm only gonna ask this once. Think long and hard before you lie to me again. Are you sure all you've got is one lousy pistol? Uh... No, no wait. I just remembered. I, I just had it in my pocket. Might as well take that, too. That's everything, really. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? 
What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. Would you rather be a snitch or a corpse? <laughs> oh my god. Powell. His name's Powell. No honor among thieves. That's all I know, really. So let's try to keep things friendly from here on in, okay? I have to go. Good luck. Alright. Okay, this pistol is ten times better. What's this combat armor? Survivor, Guardian. Is this useful for any of my crew? No. It might be useful later when we get more party members, but. Do, 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 do. <sighs> All right, beginning override. Yay! Shit. Okay. Hydra assassin, heavy armor guardian. Is any of this shit useful to me? She has some pretty good armor as it is, like the Phoenix is actually not awful armor by any means. Oops. Do we have any points? No, we do not. It's actually not insanely hard to build Renegade or Paragon. If you just do everything, like every little side mission and things, You can build up some serious renegade shit or paragon. Commander, it's Nihilus. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't, don't shoot! I'm one of you. I'm human. Those crates during the fight really helped us out. Thanks a lot. Me? But, but I'm just a dock worker. I don't even have a weapon. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that uh... The other one shot him. What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. You shot need to come right with us, butt face. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. <laughs> Your call's contact here on the docks. For the smuggling ring. What? But no! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. Doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Hand over those grenades. Now. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. Too many people died here for you to start jerking me around. Okay, all right. Th there was something else. 
Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. Yeah. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. No, you need to stay. We have what we need to know. We need witnesses, so... Alright, you, Caden, you throw on that dirt. Ha 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 ha. We are damn good. No, we're not. Please get behind cover, Shepard, don't. this first sniper rifle it it wiggles around way too much for my liking And off we go. In, into nothing. I'm kidding. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. I freaking love Saren's look. It's so intimidatingly awesome.
Okay, so the gimmick here is they've recharges. We gotta blow them up. Simple enough. I'll probably do the Paragon stream on my main YouTube channel. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need no, to find them all really? and shut them down. Caden, don't be Captain Obvious. So kill everything in the area, don't... Okay. That was weird. So yeah, we gotta disable all the bombs. You don't want to be in a time limit forever, do you? go where the beacon is, but we need to, um, disable this last bomb, because, how do I get down there? Oh, it's back this way. Seriously? Took that way for nothing? Whatever, it's fine. Oh, the bomb is right there. <laughs> I like how Shepard just has all these skills to be able to disable bombs and crap. All charges disarmed. if there's anything even down here. There is. I'm just wasting your time. Sorry. Okay. Cool. So don't touch the beacon yet, if you're playing this for some reason and watching me do this. Don't go after the beacon. I'm 
going to center the mouse. It's not a big deal, but it helps. So I don't want to go to the beacon just yet. That's our main objective, and that will get us off this planet. But I'm not ready to do that just yet. Scimitar Banshee. Take all. There's some shit over here, too. There's the safe. Sorry if I save a lot, but... This game has a tendency to make you pay for... not being correct in some regards. I have 26 likes on Instagram. whoop de doo da Fuck me in the butthole. Sorry if that language is a little much, but... You're, we're all... We're all adults on Twitch, aren't we? We can take it. I wonder if there's a achievement on, in, on Twitch to reach... 100,000. No, I mean, a hundred views. I'm just really doing a double check, because... We don't get to come back here. Oh, we did level up. I'm stupid. Okay. Yes! Finally, we got the sniper upgrade. Alright, and we unlocked electronics for him. Ashley. Definitely. Because I want to mainly focus on Caden's electronics and then all of his biotics. That's what I want to focus on for the foreseeable future. Alright. I don't think there's anything else here. At least there's nothing else we can't get better elsewhere. Although... Like, we can sell all these shotguns and shit. I will definitely take that. I'm gonna have some selling to do. 
So I eventually do want to upgrade my armor, because you do get really good armor in this game, even as just an infiltrator. Alright, without further ado... Can I just use this as a stripper pole? No, okay. Alright. Let's do it. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Don't get close. Roger, Normandy. To... Standing by. It. God damn it. Well, if you break it, you buy it, I guess. Shit. That is a pretty freaking intimidating ship. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Interesting thing about um, Andromeda that I am that I think is interesting is apparently Liara is still there, but I'm guessing she's in her final stages, like her mother is here. Doctor, Doctor Chakwas, I think he's waking up. Oh, what the, f what happened? Must have our deed. Hi. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Like shit. Like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me up the way. I expect better of my people, Williams. Don't be so hard on her, Carl. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I don't suppose it occurred to you that Eden Prime... Listen, medical... you're better... Physically, you're fine. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. <sighs> Alright. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may. <laughs> oh, Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding Record up? Record format well, not readings supported. Are normal. Well, I said the command is going you. to be fine. Glad to hear it, Shepard. I need to speak with you, in private. Of course, aye, aye, Captain. Here. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are mm. invading. 
The council's going to want answers. Are they now? Ah, oh, fuck the council. The council seriously. can kiss my ass. I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. I'll stand behind you and your report, Severin. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a specter. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. <sighs> but it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Uh, I don't like saying a vision, but... It's... Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Not supporting Butchering. error. That's crap. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. They'll think I'm crazy. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology, <sighs> blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a oh, specter. Really? He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. I wonder why this recording format isn't supported. Like... I don't know what that even means. When have they ever done anything for humanity? If we expose Saren as a traitor, the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. All right. I think next time we'll work on the Citadel-related stuff, but before we leave... We will... Hang on, let's... Hey, Commander. Hi. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. When your number comes up, it's over. His did. That's grim, Commander. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, though. Not after Torfin. That must have been hell. Every time you kill, it gets a little With easy. all due respect, I'm glad you're on our side. Things were pretty rough down there. I've seen friends die, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. Dead Marines. Dead cops. You saved a lot of lives, Commander. It might be hard to keep that in perspective with what happened to Jenkins. I'm not looking for a shot. Understood, sir. Sheesh, I'm a dick. <laughs> All right. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? No. Nope. I should go. Join Goodbye, me Commander. No, I'm kidding. Don't do that. You. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Oh, Kaden, come on. Okay, fine. I guess there's one other person we can talk to. Not supporting. Whatever. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing 
Oh yeah, there's codex shit we can collect. I completely forgot about the codex thing. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. God damn it, I wasn't... Ah. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Someone's sending an audio in Granted, you may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Oh. Roger, Alliance Tower. Alright. Normandy, right. this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. I think I know what's going on. And I will fix that the next time I record this. Maybe. Or maybe it'll just end worse. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of a Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson.